let me say this. There was a time when I would pray three hours a day or would pray with someone for three hours. And I believe there were times when I would pray around two hours, one or two hours or something like that. And I am not telling you this to brag or anything like that. I believe there is a point to this. And I believe around that time, I would encourage people to pray with me. The thing I want to do, yes, I want to help people, but at the same time, I want to teach them how to do things. How can I say this? I want to teach them how to seek God on their own, not to hang on me as if I am like their mother and they are my child. I don't want that. Anyways, I believe every so often a person would tell me, Kevin, it is not necessary to I believe they will say something like, Kevin, it is not necessary to pray so much. And I believe some people stopped praying with me because I guess I prayed too long or had us praying too long or praying too often or something like that. Man, let me say this. Uh, let me say this. I think kind of often, I believe some people tell me, Kevin, I am having trouble with, in so many words, I guess, Kevin, I am so, Kevin, I am having trouble with trying to obey God and stuff like that. Why do you think that is? If, oh man, if you aren't praying, if you aren't reading your Bible, if you aren't fasting, which I don't fast often myself, if you are not doing things to connect to God, I guess I can say, what do you believe is going to happen? Let's say you are not going to church, you aren't listening to teachings, you ain't praying, you are not reading your Bible, you aren't fasting. What do you believe is going to happen? Like, are you going to stay strong or be strong in God? Man, I love God, right? I believe I do. I try to do what is right. But let me stop listening to teachings. Let me stop trying to seek God and stuff like that. Man, I think I would be lukewarm or probably back deep in sin. This is kind of what I tell a person I help. If you stop trying to connect yourself to God, you are going back to sin. This is kind of what I tell that person. Like, don't hang upon me. Yes, I can help you. I can blah, 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 blah. But what if I die? What if, like, something happens and I stop talking to you or something like that, what are you going to do? Just go back to your old ways? Please listen to what I am saying. Probably the problem for many people, probably
probably the problem that you have. I don't think maybe you are not doing things to, maybe you are not seeking God enough. A person may tell me, Kevin, I pray, and I may ask you, how much do you pray? And you may tell me, well, you know, I pray before I go to sleep, before I fall off to sleep, so maybe 20 seconds or so. And how often do you do that, man? Maybe once or twice a month. Let me ask you something. If you want to be good at something, how much time do you put into it? You know, the average person, I am not speaking about a genius, someone very smart or something. For an average person, if you want to be good at something, what are you going to do? I believe you are going to place much time into it. So if I am only praying for 20 seconds once every two months or once a week or something like that, and if I am not reading or listening to teaching, how in the world can I expect to be good at trying to obey God? Man, I can pray for you, I believe. I can try to teach you and stuff like that, but if you aren't trying to be consistent, why would it be a surprise that you keep falling into sin? Please listen to what I am saying. We have to purposely connect ourselves to God. Oh, Kevin, I am so tired. Uh, uh, I don't feel like reading the Bible. I don't feel like most times I don't want to pray. I'm telling you, maybe few times like I feel, I guess, energized to pray. But I believe most times I don't want to pray. I believe most times I don't want to read the Bible, which I don't read the Bible a lot. But I believe most times I don't want to read the Bible. Most times I just want to, you know, just do what I do and not really do things of God, I guess. I, wait a minute. Did I say that right? <laughs> let, me say, let me say it like this. I believe most times I don't want to read the Bible and pray and stuff like that, but... I push myself to do something that pertains to God. Because if I don't, I believe I will go back to sin. Kevin, why do I continue to fall back into, back into sin? I believe most people that ask me for help, I believe they have no or little prayer life or no or little time in reading the Bible, I'm telling you, man, if you want to be, yeah, I believe most of the time that is true. If you want to become good at something, I believe the average person will have to put much time into it. In my opinion, living for God is not easy. You just can't, you know, for, I guess, 20 hours or whatever, do whatever you want. And for 20 seconds or five minutes out the month, give it to God. Five minutes out the month, I don't think that is going to do much for you. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? I can pray for you. I can pray for you, but I believe in the end, you have to do something. I can pray for you, pray for you, pray for you, but if you are determined to not seek God on your own, like, what, it, what is going to happen? Let me stop here. God bless you.